Are you considering a move to West Columbia and wondering how far your dollar will stretch in this charming Southern city? If you're planning to buy a home or just curious about the general cost of living in this beautiful city of South Carolina, this detailed overview will help you understand what it takes to own a home in West Columbia, South Carolina. So stay tuned. Hi, my name is Shawnice and I am here to help you with all of your real estate needs. Today, we are going to take a friendly stroll through the various costs that you may encounter when living in West Columbia. From the price of a cozy home to the cost of a delicious dinner, whether you're planning your move or just exploring your options, understanding the cost of living is crucial. And I am here to give you the most updated information on the cost of living in West Columbia, South Carolina in 2024. So let's get started and uncover what makes West Columbia a place worth considering. Home cost in West Columbia. Over the past few years, West Columbia has seen a noticeable change in its housing market. As of February 2024, the median list price for homes was $249,000, reflecting a 4.6 increase from the previous month. This trend is indicative to the growing demand in the area, which is also supported by a significant increase in the housing inventory. Up to 60.2% from January to February 2024, the population of West Columbia as of the latest estimate stand around at about 17,618, marking a slight increase from the previous years. This growth in population and housing prices suggests a dynamic real estate market that could be attractive to both investors and home buyers looking for appreciating value in a growing community. Let me tell you about the transportation costs around here in West Columbia. West Columbia is served by several major highways with no toll roads affecting the immediate area. Public transportation options are limited, so most residents rely on personal vehicles. The average gas price hovers around $3 per gallon. Ride sharing services are readily available providing convenient travel options within and outside of the city. Child care and education costs. Child care and education are significant considerations for families in South Carolina. The South Carolina Working Families Child Care Scholarship Program offers substantial support, making child care more affordable for families that qualify. As of February, 2024, to be eligible, families must have a gross income at or below 85% of the state median. This program is a great help as it covers part or all of the childcare costs depending on the family's income and needs. For preschool aged children, the South Carolina First Steps 4K program provides free state-funded education to eligible four-year-olds. This initiative is available in over 270 locations across the state, ensuring that quality pre-kindergarten education is accessible to many families, which further eases the financial burden on families with these young children. Next, we have employment and healthcare costs. In West Columbia, South Carolina, People looking for work have some solid options, especially in healthcare. The Lexington Medical Center is a big name around town. With a team of more than 6,500 people, they are not just about checkups and band-aids. They're a whole network with community medical centers and even a tie-up with Duke Health for heart and cancer care. Then there's Amazon where packages and careers are both on the move. When it comes to healthcare costs, they're pretty much what you'd expect, similar to what most Americans pay. But remember, the final price tag for your healthcare can change based on what insurance plan you what insurance plan you have and what kind of medical attention you need. Costs 
of utilities in West Columbia. Residents of West Columbia pay for various utilities, including gas, electric, water, and telecommunications. The average monthly cost for these services can range from $100 to $200, depending on the usage and the size of the household. Cable, internet, and phone packages are widely available with basic bundles starting at around $100 per month, depending on the service provider. Taxes and home insurance costs. West Columbia residents navigate several taxes, including property tax, sales tax, and vehicle tax. The average property tax rate in West Columbia is relatively lower than the national average, with homeowners paying about 61% of their home's value. South Carolina state sales tax is 6%, with local jurisdictions able to add up to 3% more. Vehicle taxes are paid annually and are required for registration renewal. Now let's take a look at grocery costs. When it comes to grocery shopping in West Columbia, South Carolina, you'll find that prices are pretty friendly to your wallet. A gallon of milk will cost you about $2.48. A loaf of bread is about $3.96. Hamburger meat is going for about $5.23, so firing up the grill will not break the bank. These prices are just a smidge higher than the national average, but hey, that's the small price you pay for living in such a great place. And finally, entertainment and leisure. West Columbia is a delightful spot for both fun family outings and vibrant adult entertainment. For families, the Riverbank Zoo and Garden, just a stone's throw away in Columbia is a must visit. For those who love the outdoors, the West Columbia River Walk provides for a leisurely stroll or a brisk jog. Adults looking to unwind can explore the local dining and nightlife scene. The Meeting Street Music Fest offers a lively atmosphere with great music for jazz enthusiasts. And there you have it, this comprehensive guide to the cost of living in West Columbia, South Carolina in 2024 should effectively help you plan for a move or understand the economic landscape of this vibrant Southern city. Whether you're buying a home or budgeting for daily expenses, West Columbia offers a balanced and enjoyable living experience.